We have a lot to talk about in this video, folks. This is Tony. Hope you're all doing well. We have something going on with farming. Something actually kind of amazing. I'm surprised I hadn't seen it up till now. Definitely going to want to know about this, folks. An interview that just recently happened within about a day with someone that you definitely want to hear from, folks. We're going to get into that. What's going on with uh, some other things as well. Uh, McDonald's, some things going on with the banks. Believe it or not, we were talking about all these companies going out of business, like uh, a number of franchisee owners of Burger King uh, going out of business, right? We were talking about that. And what's amazing is actually McDonald's is going to expand. So bizarre, and it's sort of a bizarre twist. Those $18 Big Mac meals apparently <laughs> worked out for them. It's so strange. Uh, I think people are just a little bit fixated and, and love too much that Big Mac, folks. There's something going on there that's just not, I would say this is kind of otherworldly, actually. McDonald's revenue soars by 14% after hiking menu prices up to $18 for a Big Mac combo meal. How in the world? Why is someone going and buying this? <laughs> What's going on here? There's something wrong here, folks. <laughs> How are they making more money? While Burger King is going under, they're charging $18. What are they putting in those Big Macs? What's in there? We were talking about what's in the fries, right? And I'm going to get into this over my other channel. God Rules 2 in more detail. Kind of explore that. And actually, it could have something to do with this interview. He says some rather important stuff that just, I think, went right over people's heads. It, it just happened, uh, I think, about a day ago. I'm going to get into it in a little bit. Uh, so, like I said, we're going to be getting into a ton of stuff. They're doing some new type of farming as well. I'm going to get into also. And some really surprising things going on with the banks. At any rate, so you have these various uh, restaurants, McDonald's, Chick-fil-A. And I'm not really surprised with Chick-fil-A. It's extremely popular. It, uh, I don't, I don't know about Chipotle. Apparently, these are popular as well. Taco Bell raised their prices a ton. KFC, uh, and people will continue to go back. Chick Fil A is going to keep getting customers, uh, and McDonald's apparently as well. McDonald's opening up nearly nine thousand restaurants, adding one hundred million loyalty members by twenty twenty seven. Now, what's interesting is we we got some stuff coming in by twenty thirty that you're going to definitely want to hear about. And it's probably going to involve McDonald's, especially if you're really, really uh, addicted to the Big Mac. You're willing to pay $50 for that Big Mac and the little robot hands you to the, the Big Mac. Here you go. Here's your Big Mac. You know, this is what it's going to be. You know, 2027, $50 Big Macs. People are like, I, I got to eat my Big Mac, right? And <laughs> what are they going to put in it? That's what we're going to get into. Some interesting stuff. They might be put some in interesting ingredients. That might be coming to your Big Mac soon here, folks. Oh, yes, indeed. Uh, of course, like I said, we're going to get into a ton of stuff. Let's get into some of these other topics. Like I said, I'm going to get into more detail over my other channel about that. We're going to get into it, though, a little bit in the farming aspect in this video. Auto loan debt surging, and so are missed payments. Apparently, people are not able to keep up with their auto loan payment. No surprise there. We saw how auto... Uh, Auto loans have gone up quite a bit in price. We have also the insurance going up tons in price. Everything's going up in price everywhere. We have inflation everywhere. And people just can't keep up. And we, we talked about the fact that by Christmas, by Christmas, uh, excess savings overall in America, consumer excess savings is basically going to be zero. So people are, are, are getting very frugal, not because they necessarily want to, because I, the, the American spirit is mainly never be frugal. Unless you have literally nothing in the bank and you have no more credit cards. They're all maxed out. Then you be frugal. Okay, that's apparently how we do it here in America. But uh, we're seeing here auto loan debt surging. Federal Reserve's aggressive interest rate hike. And actually, it wasn't super aggressive. It's going to get worse, I think, though. Auto loan, loan rates uh, to new highs. And Americans now owe more debt to finance their cars than they do student loans. So we also have the student loan issue as well. And uh, Americans are worried about paying back student loans as well. We're seeing uh, some articles come out about this. The fact is a lot of people are afraid they're going to default on their student loans. I have a friend that is literally 10 years older than me. Well, literally, he, he's 10 years older than me. Okay. He's like 58. He still has student loan debt. He still has 
Like, is he going to be like 80 with student loan debt? I mean, seriously, this is this is what we're talking about, folks. And of course, today, colleges cost even more. I mean, colleges cost a ton more. And and also, they have re really ridiculous uh, what you would call degrees that pretty much amount to nothing. And they end up working at McDonald's anyways, right? So this is kind of what we're seeing. Student loan debt, of course, on top of the fact that people have to work two full-time jobs just to pay for anything anymore. Uh, and the you know these rates are pretty high right now, the Fed's rates, but I think they're actually going to go higher maybe in a couple of years. And I don't even think anybody, will, I, honestly, I don't think we'll make it that far. But we're seeing that, of course. Also, we're seeing this. There haven't been this few job openings in two years. It's exactly what the Fed has been hoping for. Why are they hoping for this? Because they're trying to solve this economic problem? Or is there more behind this, folks? Which is actually what I think it is. And what this particular interview, this interviewee had to say, his name's Alex. I think you know which Alex I'm referring to, folks. Yes, indeed. He was recently on a certain famous interviewers a guy that's independent now used to be on fox news i think i know i think you know who i'm talking about last name of course carlson he interviewed him i think about a day ago and he was talking about how they want it to be this way how you won't own a car you're not going to own anything and they're that's why that's why we have this inflation and, and like i said back when they gave us the stimulus payments i said i wish they didn't do this but if, since they did it, I'm going to take the money, okay? Because if I don't take the money, I'm going to be in a worse situation. But they shouldn't have done it. They shouldn't have printed all that stimulus money because most of it they gave to their friends. That's what we're paying for inflation. in inflation. That money was chump change compared to what we had to pay later, which is what we're paying now. In inflation overall and in, in various aspects of society. So, of course, also, this leads to a lot of companies making less money, which means there are going to be less jobs. And of course, also, we're seeing the introduction of robots. All of this is not coincidental, which, of course, they're hoping you think it's coincidental that there's things that are too expensive and then there's going to be less jobs. And oh, lo and behold, there's robots that can do these jobs. Oh, my goodness. Let's just get these guys instead. They don't complain. They don't ask for raises. Let's just get some robots, right? So we have, of course, the Walmart CEO says consumers may not be as resilient next year, even as deflation starts to show. And deflation, though, deflation in aspect of consumer goods, not necessarily like inflation per se stopped, but more so the fact that you just simply can't afford anything and they're desperate for sales, so they're going to lower the price. That's probably more along the lines of what it really is, folks. In a CNBC interview, Walmart CEO Doug McMillan said consumer spending is tougher to predict next year because of rising credit card balances, dwindling household bank accounts. And again, like I said, by Christmas, it will be essentially zero for excess savings. According to the Fred data, deflation has brought down the prices of some general merchandise items such as toys, he said. Lower prices will mean Walmart and other retailers will have to drive more volume. So this is going to shake out the small business owner. And this is what we're seeing. Why would they do this? Because less hands will own everything. Easier, of course, to control. This also leads into this interview I was talking about with a certain famous person named Alex. So what did he exactly say in this interview? I'll go over a few of the highlights. So, of course... The interviewer was asking him, how did you predict these things before they happened? And he's like, you know, going through all, I went through lots of different data, things that they told us right out in the open, but no one seems to ever read and ever pay attention to. We're talking about those that, of course, the top, you know, that bald guy. I've talked about him before, Dr. Evil, not referring to the one from Austin Powers, but he looks a little bit like him. Uh, Referring to this guy here, folks. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Evil from Austin Powers, except for he's a real guy and he's part of the World you know, Economic, of course, Forum. They have lots of videos talking about what they're going to do. And lo and behold, it happens just like they said it's going to happen. So, of course, he went off a lot of the data from 
I guess apparently MIT also gets involved with this stuff. They have uh, groups that work with the MIT that have, uh, I guess you would call them think tanks or something, and they come up with all this stuff, and then about 10, 20 years later, it happens. That's how it usually works. And uh, this is what he was telling them. He's like, this is how I figured it out because I just read their stuff. These super long, boring uh, you know, conferences and videos that are like three hours long that no one wants to watch where they tell us things and everybody's like, yeah, right, that's never going to happen. And then 20 years later, it happens, right? So that's how he was able to predict a lot of these things. And of course, one of the things he mentioned is uh, about how we were going to be wearing, of course, those face coverings and <laughs> that whole thing was going to happen. They talked about all that too. All this stuff happened, folks. They talked about all these wonderful things. And now the new stuff is apparently has to do with farming and our food. And of course, having certain stuff put, of course, in, you know, the food. Kind of like what I was talking about at the beginning of this video with McDonald's. It's really interesting how they're the only ones not really affected by this inflation. I mean, they, $20 Big Mac combos, people are still going there. Like, why? Why are you going there? Apparently, so many people are going there. There's like, hey, we're going to have 9,000 more locations while Burger King's shutting down, folks. And the question is, could in the near future there be some other interesting ingredients in the Big Mac that we want to know a little bit more about? Okay, so this is what we're talking about. And actually, he mentioned things that were sort of like very smart and small. I'll just leave it at that, folks. Let your, your mind kind of imagine what I'm referring to. Uh, I can't get into a lot of detail detail here, folks. But this is the kind of stuff that they, they uh, this is the kind of stuff they think up. And how in our wonderful future, we're going to have these cities that are smart cities. And you're not going to own a car. And of course, we're not going to be able to afford anything either. Uh, but anyway, we're going to get into a lot more in this video. I got to mention, though, of course, about my new link page uh link below go check it out if you want to find all my stuff it's all in one place now folks you can go over to this page and just find everything all my other social media every single thing i have folks all linked below of course also my website uh gr videos here folks uh, i'm uploading new videos over there weekly uh, about 15 to 20 videos actually weekly i have some older videos that i'm putting up that are sort of evergreen where they just they're timeless topics Things that I also predicted myself that ended up happening. Link is in the description. Of course, also food supply, 25-year shelf life. Link is in the description for this, folks. Uh, $5.97 for three months worth. They put it back on sale. Two weeks for $1.27. Of course, also, I still got the, the uh, giveaway going on. Uh, and you're going to be lucky whoever gets first prize. Uh, definitely over $1,500 at this point. Gold went up and spiked in price. First prize, second prize, four five hundred dollar laptop. Third prize, eight hundred dollars of food supply. The three months worse. Easy to enter. Just pause the video. About four thousand people have entered so far. Very easy. Hundreds of thousands of people watch my videos. Just pause. Twenty seconds. Click, click, click. Auto complete. Your name and email. You're done. It's super fast. You'll also be on my other social media in the process as well. Link is in the description for all these things, folks. And also uh, this book here, The Lost Ways. Go check that out as well. Uh, how to live without electricity, considering all the WARs going on. It, you know, these people that have these plans, they're in the West. Okay, the East is not exactly going along with these plans, by the way. And this could turn into a WAR, like a really big one. And actually, I'm not going to even cover that stuff in this video, but there's some new stuff in that range. Maybe I'll put that on the next video. It. Some are saying we're already in it. We're already in the world, you know, WAR. I don't know. It, it could very well be the case. Uh, but, you know, you're going to definitely want to have that book just in case, folks. How to Live Without Electricity. It's like $37, I think, plus shipping. Link is in the description. Uh, let's get back to the video. So we have also some interesting things going on with farmers. I'm going to get into more detail about this over my main channel, God Rules, and uh, my, my backup channel over there, God Rules too. But we see here small American farmers are nearing extinction. Why? Because the profits have dwindled 23% in, the, in this year. This year, there's a lot less profit involved in farming because of inflation. 
And what this is doing is it's squeezing the small farmers, just like we saw with the small you know, businesses back in 2021, 2020. Uh, same idea, not a coincidence, I don't think. I mean, honestly, all this stuff seems to connect too well, folks, to be a coincidence. The fact of the matter is they have a new type of farming they're doing, and Walmart's getting involved in this new type of farming. And I'll show you that in a second. Uh, but you can see here profits plummet by $42 billion. In 2023, $241 billion resulting in 23% income drop. Clearly, that's going to be very hard or difficult for anybody that's a smaller farmer. Now they're trying to do this new type of farming, indoor farming. It's all robotic. Yes, indeed. That's what your Big Mac's going to be made out of soon here. You're going to have like cube cows in like little, little trays or something, folks. It's going to be like uh, just sitting there waiting you know, I, I saw some sci-fi movie like that. Uh, it had like these cube chickens in like cages, like, <laughs> like couldn't even move. Ah, oh, yes, our future is awesome, folks. Cubed chickens, cubed cows. Got to save that space, folks. You know, we, we need we need to save the space to save the climate. We need cubed chickens and cubed cows that are grown in these weird factories. That's what we need, folks. And of course, the small farmers, we don't need normal chickens and normal cows that graze on fields. What are you talking about? Uh, you know, <laughs> uh, that's some good stuff. Loan loan agreements. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of issues with uh, uh, the interest, the inflation, all these things for these small farmers. They're not going to be able to make it very easily without charging high prices. And I do end up buying a lot of, uh, you know, stuff that's more like, I guess you would say, uh, natural, organic type of stuff. But this is what they're wanting to do, folks. They're doing these, these, and they're actually stacking them. They're stacking these indoor uh, farming is what they're doing. Walmart and Kroger are betting on, on, on a bankruptcy, hitting indoor farming industry that many consider un unsustainable. So actually, in reality, uh, I think this, this title is actually not even reading right. Uh, in reality, Walmart and Kroger are assuming that these companies are going to work. And I think they're betting on bankruptcy of other small or small small farmers so they're doing this and they're actually going in on this uh that that title looked weird in reality they're actually going forward with this stuff folks okay they're actually going forward and they're actually making deals with uh kroger and walmart and they're using robotics to do this it's like an assembly line assembly line farming and yeah here it is this is a this will give you a better idea um walmart and plenty partner to lead future of fresh produce retail le leader and indoor farming company enter into a long term strategic partnership with equity investment to bring fresh peak flavor produce. And what does it mean by peak flavor, folks? It means it's probably modified. You know what I mean? Like, honestly, what are we talking about here, folks? GMOs? Maybe. Maybe, right? Probably. More likely. Uh, but, I mean, what else would it be? And what's interesting, of course, is Dr. Evil. Uh, I call him Santa Claus, the guy over the world, you know, Economic, of course, Forum. That guy wants you to drink more alcohol as well, by the way. And I found out very interesting how they want you to eat things and drink things that are just not really exactly good for you. <laughs> I mean, I mean there's, it's okay. Actually, a glass of wine a day is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But it's, it's like they want you to increase the quantity. They want you to drink more and more and more. And you can see here kind of how from the 1700s until now, it, the, the glass has just gotten huger over time. And it's it just like everything that they, they want you, they, they're promoting and, and trying to take away, like from what my own research into health, like they're promoting stuff that's not going to make you healthy, folks, like literally. Um, and so, like I said, this I'm going to get into this actually a ton more over my channel, uh, God Rules. Uh I'm going to get into also, and I've already talked about this over here, how they're trying to reduce uh, the amount of clothing, uh, the amount of bricks and steel used to build buildings. They're trying to reduce the amount of uh, usage of a lot of things. And it's all about carbon. And I told you, and I've already talked about it over here. I've talked about it in a lot of places. Carbon is our friend, actually. CO2 is our friend, honestly. Uh, they want you to eat zero kilograms of beef zero kilograms of dairy, 
What are you going to have, like, Impossible Whoppers at McDonald's? I mean, it'll be the Impossible Big Mac or something. But $50 Impossible Big Mac that a robot serves you, apparently, is what it's going to be in 2027. And everybody's going, oh, i got to eat my Big Mac for the day, right? Because it's going to have some other interesting ingredients in it uh, made made from cubed cows in, in some indoor farming facility, right? This is what I'm saying. Like, literally, this is what they're talking about. But I'm going to get into more of it over my other channel. Kind of what I want some of you guys think. Let me know in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.